Hi, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to install the OSC parameter sync system onto your avatar. So you have up to 2000 more parameter memory for your radios and other controls. Um, what you need is your project with an avatar and import into it the avatar 3.0 manager. You're going to be needing it for merging. And of course, import the OSC parameter sync package. After you've done that, uh, you start with uh, merging. And we're going to be merging our parameters and FX layer. That's the only things that we need for this. So I'm going to go to VR Labs, Avatar 3.0 Manager. I drag my avatar here. I go to my parameters. I drag parameters from the package into the slot. I copy them. There we go. And now I go back here. Select effects, add animator to merge, and I merge the FX layers, merge them current. There we go. And now we're gonna, going to change our FX layers. So uh, we change from the example parameters to the actual parameters that we um, want to use. And in this uh, example, I'm going to be showing you four parameters being, being uh, controlled by this. I'm going to be modifying the three pre-made ones and I'm going to be adding one more. You can add up to pretty much 250 of them. So that's a lot of parameters. You're probably not going to be needing half of them, but theoretically you can do this. And I made like a little note here. I recommend you do the same so we don't have to remember anything. And I'm going to be changing these parameters and all of them has to be assigned an ID. This goes from 1 to 250, for example. So I'm going to have these as 1, 2, 3, 4. I'm going to put it back here. And first, we add, we can delete the uh, base layer because it's empty. We don't need it. And we start here. This layer controls uh, basically listening and recording um, what do you change with your radials in your menu. So the OSC app remembers everything, stores it, and then you know, remembers it for the future. And then this second layer, um, it's basically listening all the time for the OSC app to tell the avatar what the values are continuously. So we go here and you can see that the IDs that we're using for our parameters are in these transitions, one, two, and three. And we'll be, we're gonna be adding number four a bit later. So number one, in my list, I have the outfit hue, so I'm gonna change these example floats into my actual used floats. And be careful, the second one is actually like mirrored right here. Then you go to the next one, and then what do I have here? It's the uh, tattoos hue, so I'm gonna change it. Change it here. And the third one is hair hue shift. You can go right here. Now I just quickly check everything. If I did it correctly, that I have. And for adding the fourth one, I'm just gonna copy everything. Control C, Control V. transition and this one has to be if the OPS received ID is not equal and we adding increments of one to each added parameter so this one is number four because we have number three here and number four is gonna be the skin type and in this one you have to change all the all the transitions as well this one is OPS received is if it's four Now this may, might look complex, but 
once you get into it and you understand basic how it works, it's super simple, just copy paste most of the time. So now we're gonna do the uh, skin type, which is right here. Skin type. And this is set up. And now we have to go into the second one. And we change the values here as well in the same manner. So number one was outfit heel. Second one was tattoos. And the third one was hair heel shift. And I'm gonna just control C, control V again. And name it full four. This one was for the skin type. I'm gonna make a new transition. And the uh, rule is obvious ID equals two, and this time it is four, because we are doing parameter four. And like I said, you have to add like continuously as you add uh, new controls up to 250 something, pretty much more than you will ever need, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, now that the, this is done, we can also delete these three example floats because we don't need them. And the last thing that we need to do is to change the menus. So we find our controls in our menus, which for me is these like um, views. And I change it. So the parameter that's controlled, the, the integer is going to be receive ID. And this is going to be receive float. And the ID is going to be the same ID that's been adding to these like the whole time. So I have it noted right here. This is gonna be number one. This one is it's gonna be number two. Our you shoot is going to be number three. And then I have my skin type, which I can find in the different menu. Exit ID is what's going to be four. And there's a float. And once we have this done, we don't need the uh, original parameters in here. So we actually can finally save the space. So I'm gonna delete them. And uh, I actually have them on the, in the end here. So I'm just going to quickly outfit heal and delete. Tattoos heal, delete. Hair heal shift, delete. Skin type, delete. So when you're doing this for more than four of these options, for example, eight, 16, then you're saving memory. Because we, we do need for the system to work to uh, 32 memory for variables right here. So if you're doing like three radios or something, it's not worth it, you don't have to do it at all. But if you're using like 10 or 15, then the system is uh, very good for that to save on memory. That it can be used for different things. So yeah, that's all. You have to just uh, add parameters, add the effects layer, set up the effects layer correctly to, you know, so it controls what you want it to control, change the menus, and then you just upload this and run the app. And as you control your radials in game, the app is gonna register it, save everything into a text file and load back into the avatar all the time. And you and other people will see the same results consistently. So, Next, I'm going to show you how it looks in game. Now I'm going to show you how it works in practice in game. So I'm gonna, I, this file is empty. It's completely new. You can uh, see it's completely empty. So I'm gonna run my app. I'm gonna show you how it spams currently nothing because it has no data, but we're gonna change that. We go into our menu and we change our colors. 
and before we set any values it's gonna send zeros so we basically have to do is one time send uh, set the colors one time and then everything is gonna be consistent actually let me do the hair uh, with a different color I think and also I had the skin type different so I'm gonna change the skin type for example this one and I'm going to reset my avatar. I'm going to see how these colors are going to come back because the app is going to send them back. So I'm default and I get all the data sent back. I'm going to show you the app. It like sends all these values. And the thing is, you don't have to code anything. Every, everything is getting handled by the app itself. The only thing you have to do is Unity and it, you know, creates all the, the, all the necessities itself. And I'm going to show you from the point of view of a remote user, which is the little rat. You can see how everything looks fine for us. So it looks same for other people as for uh, as for you. So thanks for watching, and I hope you um, have fun with this little system.